because my swagger right. Not but not because not but not because my swagger right. I'm fresh. I'm fresh. Cause he came and took the cross. I I came I came lost and left my boats in the cross. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today is wash day. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and wet my hair all over. And then I'm going to separate the hair into four sections. And I have my spray bottle with warm water in it. And I'm going to take maybe a tablespoonful of shampoo and mix it in this water to dilute the shampoo and then I shall spray shampoo in the water mix on my scalp and massage like so okay so I just got through rinsing with uh, lukewarm water and so now I'm just going to take the hair and put it in four sections I think it's just easier to work with four sections especially when you have these kind of twists oh and y'all whenever I was washing my hair this hair was so it's so heavy once it gets wet oh my gosh like what it really feels like you have a anvil and valve however you see it pulling at your scalp it's crazy so an update on my hair I've had these twists in for a month and I'm going to take them out. I plan on taking them out in March. Yeah, you know, this is the longest I've ever had any kind of style in my hair. Because I just get very bored with hairstyles. But so far I'm really liking this. It's not even bothering me at all by having them in. Okay. So what I did some warm water in here and I took some hello hydration and I just squeezed a little bit in there it's kind of really sudsy I'm not sure if you all can see it um so of course it smells really nice I'm gonna put a little bit more in there um I'm not sure how much exactly you're supposed to have in there but it should be way 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 more water than it is shampoo. The reason being, if you don't really shampoo, dilute, dilute the um, shampoo, it'll be very hard to rinse it out. So, just want to spray the shampoo in between these sections. down on the braid some to get my hair so I, I'm going to spray it down to about where my real hair stops okay then you just Massage. Just massage, massage, massage. This feels really good. Because of course I haven't put any water in my hair for a month now. I've heard that if you don't wash your hair, your hair actually grows more. But I don't know. There's so many little myths and tricks of the trade but basically your hair will go grow about I think it's either 
usually an inch or a two inches every month. I'm not really sure. It's probably it's an inch or an inch and a half. But anyway, basically, your hair really only grows that amount every month anyway. So, all these little tricks might just be wasting your time. So, I'm just going to keep doing this process until I cover, get through all of my hair. And after I finish massaging through all of my hair, I'm going to go and rinse this all out. And I'm not going to put conditioner because conditioner will get stuck right at the root or the knot of the twist or the braid or whatever you have in your hair. Conditioner will get stuck there and it will take so long to get it out. And also conditioner likes to get stuck in between the twist. It's terrible. It's not a good look. So I would not advise using conditioner. That's just me. That's, that's why I feel. My experiences, no. Okay, so I finished washing my hair. And, yeah. So what I did, I just massaged all the shampoo in. And then I rinsed first with lukewarm water. And I did another rinse of cold water. I was rinsing my hair out I you know I had I already had it in the four sections so I let the water run into each I made little tiny parts to let the water run to make sure I had all the shampoo out because you do not want to have leftover shampoo in your head um, a thing that you could do to make sure you have all the shampoo out is after you finish shampooing and rinsing you can do um, some vinegar and water rinse. You would just put a cup of vinegar and a cup of warm water into a container. And then you would just pour it all over your head. And that gets all the excess off. I towel dried my hair. And it's still wet. You could take a blow dryer to it, but mm, I'm not going to do that. So now what I'm going to do... To put some more moisture back in it. Um, first I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil. And just massage it in my scalp. And after I, I do that. I'm going to put some shea butter oil. And I'm going to put a little bit of this natural olive oil treatment. This was also in the other video. But alright. Um. So I'm going to do that, and also tonight I'm going to cut my ends, because this hair is entirely too long, and I'm tired of this, wearing this style. So I'm going to cut it to about maybe shoulder length, and then I'm going to take some rods and curl it. Roll the end of a few, dip it in the hot water, and it'll be set. I decided to go ahead and cut my hair, like I said, to about shoulder length. And now I'm just curling the ends. So I roll the ends so far. And then I just have some hot water. And just dip your ends in. Um, leave it in there about a minute, 30 seconds, something like that. Then just dry. Then just take off the rollers. And it'll be, you have a little curl. And if your curls are not you know, really neat, you can always just clip off, pull it, pull, pull the curl down, and then clip off that extra hair that didn't get curled. So, yeah, so I'm doing some of my hair, I'm going to just curl it all over. Alright, I just want to show you all the finished product of my new twist. So, all it is, I cut it, remember, and I just curled the ends. And I redid the front row. So, yeah. So, I'm going to wear it like this all this month, probably. But, I'll update you all later. Bye.